So from the previous video, we evaluated this expression a little bit more optimally than we did in the video previous to that. Um, now I want to show you how to do a multiplication. Multiplication is a little different than what we've seen before. Let me start with an addition example. Um, and I'm actually going to go to using multiple registers again. So Control-Alt-L, or no, no, Control-L to get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to move into EBX, the value 4, and then I'm going to add EAX, EBX. So let me just draw how I've changed this program so far. We have the EAX register and the EBX register. I'm moving 8 into EAX. I'm going to move 4 into EBX. And then I add EBX to EAX, which will change EAX to A12, which is the same as the expression that we have here, 8 plus 4. Let me just run this, prove that it works. Uh, F11, uh, Control-Alt-D, F11, and here's our registers right here. EAX will change to an 8, F11, EBX will change to a 4, F11, and 8 plus 4 makes a C, F11, and you see we have a C. Very good. Well, you may think that to do a multiply, if I want to change this to a multiply, then I would just say mol, short for multiply. Um, but if I try that, hit F11, we get syntax error, and basically the assembler here is complaining, saying I, there's something wrong with the syntax here. Basically meaning I cannot parse this. All right, a um, little brief overview on syntax errors. There's, there's syntax errors, and there's semantic errors, there's logic errors, there's a whole bunch of different s uh, types of errors. Uh, let me see if I can give you an example of, of what a syntax error would be as best as I can in the English language. Suppose I walked up to you and I, I said, uh, the went, bought, period, some, I, and comma, food to store. All right, you might be able to kind of figure out what I'm go what I'm saying here, but it forces you to think a lot harder than you're used to. And and honestly, when we are typing or chatting or texting with each other, we use a lot of shorthanded notes, and maybe we might make a mistake typing to each other. But we're humans; we're intelligent enough to kind of figure out what's going on most of the time. When when you get a a, a poorly abbreviated text message, but but here I'm really taking it to the max, and I'm saying the went bought some I and food to store. Well, that doesn't really parse right. In fact, if you look, I have the period here, and there's a comma there, and it's just, it doesn't parse right, right, in the English language. And by parsing, I mean word by word as you go along through here. You just the, 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 Not only is the meaning hard to understand, but it's, it's hard just to read it. It doesn't, it doesn't parse right. I can't split it up into words and tokens and periods and commas and make much English sense of it. All right, but but if I came to you and I instead I said I went to the store and I bought some food, ah, that parses correctly, and you can also much more easily gain the semantics or the meaning out of the sentence. Okay, so syntax error is hey, it's hard to parse. Uh, semantic error would be oh, I don't really understand the semantics, but here you can understand the semantics. What if I said I went to the I went to the run, and I bought some uh, dive. And I, it still parses correctly as far as the English language is concerned, so there's not really a syntax error here. Um, but the semantics are rough. It's like you went to the run, what, huh? And you bought some dive, huh? Anyway, okay, so there's a semantic error, whereas this this has like, ultimate semantics and syntax error. Getting back to assembly language, control L to get rid of those lines. Um, the multiply instruction requires one argument. Okay, we've given it two. So the assembler tries to parse this and it says, okay, parse, multiply, good, I'm expecting one more argument, good. And then it sees the comma and it's like, uh, 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 I'm only expecting one argument here. It doesn't parse right. It's a syntax error. I wasn't expecting the comma. All right, so so then we just need to reduce it to one argument. Well, you might think, um, 
Jamie, there's there's two arguments here. There's an 8 and a 4. And uh, if I do a multiply, I need to multiply something against something else. That's what we call a binary operation because here's the operation and it requires two inputs. That's a binary operator. Well, I have no fear. Multiply always, always, always assumes EAX as the first argument. It is implied. All right? You cannot multiply anything against just anything. It always multiplies against EAX, which is one reason why there's an A in EAX, which is why we call it the accumulator register. All right? I'm multiplying a value, and that result will accumulate into the EAX register. So I don't need to type this. I can get rid of EAX and thus I get rid of the comma and now the syntax error is gone. The assembler will come in, see mol, short for multiply, and uh, see EBX and be happy. There's nothing else after it. Syntax error gone. I'm going to hit F11. Watch. The build will succeed. And we're good to go. Control Alt D. Go into our function F11 and EAX will change to an 8. Here we go. Uh, EBX will change to a 4, F11, and then I'm going to multiply EBX, oh look at that, when we do the disassembly it throws the EAX in there for us, remember in our assembly file we didn't have an EAX there, but in the disassembly it's just, hey, you know, I'm going to throw the EAX in there for you, so that will change EAX, uh, 4 times 8 is 32, 32 in hex, oh, can you think of it, can you think of it, F11, Ah, uh, two zero. Okay, that's two times sixteen makes thirty-two. Go check out the binary and uh, hexadecimal video playlist if you need to. Whew. Okay, cool. So there you go. There's the multiply.